हेलो दिस इज जोमेट्री लेसन थ्री इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस कॉन गुरेंसी ऑफ ट्रैंगल्स नो माय फर्स्ट कंसेप्ट इज टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर कॉन गुरेंट टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर कॉन गुरेंट्स आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रैंगल आई एम टॉकिंग एनी टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स दे आर कॉन गुरेंट व्हेन दे आर ऑफ एग्जैक्ट सेम शेप एंड साइज exact same shape and size they will overlap each other for example two debit card of the same bank two debit card of the same bank same year they are the congruent object same way you can see that two rupees one coin of the same year Two rupees one to one rupee coins of the same year. They are exactly same shape and size. Uh, let me sh uh, show you the photographs of objects which are congruent, exact same shape and size. They will overlap each other. Now you can see that I am just showing you. Look at this. This these are the cards, playing cards. They are of exact same shape and size. These coins that you can see in the picture. These coins are congruent to each other because they are of exact same shape and size so two objects are congruent when they are of exact same shape and size the same is true for triangles two triangles are congruent when all corresponding when all corresponding angles as well as all corresponding sides are equal all corresponding angles as well as all corresponding sides are equal for example let me make the triangles this is a triangle 1 this is a triangle 2 this is a b c this is d e f Now if I say that AB is same as DE, AB is equals to DE, the lengths are same. BC length is same as EF. AC is same as DF. These are the corresponding sides. This angle is one. This angle is one. This is corresponding angle same. This angle is two. This angle is two. This angle is three. This angle is three. Now I can see that triangle ABC. is congruent to this is a sign of congruency congruence to triangle def these two triangles are congruent they will exactly overlap each other they are equal in all dimensions so how the two triangles are congruent when all corresponding angles as well as all corresponding sides are equal so you can say that ab is corresponding to de bc is equals to ef AC is equals to DF. These are the all corresponding sides are equal. Angle A is equals to angle D. Angle B is equals to angle E. Angle C is equals to angle F. So three sides as well as three angles corresponding are equal. Then you can say that triangles are congruent. Next is criteria for congruency of triangles. Uh, it is not necessary necessary that. all three sides as well as all three angle must be equal then only the triangle are congruent there may be some less things which are equal then we can also say that triangles are congruent for example first criteria is sss it means side 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 if all corresponding sides of the two triangles are equal corresponding sides of two triangle are equal then the triangles are congruent if i want to say that a b c this is d e f if this is equals to this this b c is equals to e f this a c is equals to d f now i can simply say that triangle a b c is congruent to triangle d e f i don't need to check the angles if the three corresponding sides of one triangle is equals to the corresponding sides of other triangle then you can always say that triangles are congruent this triangle is con these two triangles are congruent automatically the angles are equal if the three sides are equal then consequently all angles are equal 
no need to check this angle will be 1 if this is 1 this will be also be 1 if this is 2 this will also be 2 same angle if this is 3 this angle will also be equals to 3 so when the sides are equal then the consequently angles will also be equal so s s is the first criteria if three sides are given three sides of one triangle is equal to three sides of other triangle three corresponding sides then the two triangles are congruent next is s a s this is called as side angle side it means that the angle should be in between the side this is four centimeter this is 5 centimeter let's say make this angle is let's say 70 degree this is situation number one same is the other triangle this is 4 centimeter this is 5 centimeter this angle is 70 degree now you can see that two sides are equal and an included angle this angle is included angle included angle it means that angle must lie between the, between the two sides this is a b c this is d e f now you can see that two sides are corresponding two sides are equal as well as included angle is there now we can say that if you join ac and df these two triangle triangle abc will be congruent to triangle def by sas side angle side because when when, when you once you join ac and df you can say that ac will be equals to df if this angle will be alpha this angle will automatically be alpha you can check and draw the diagram on your notebook you know, you can try this this angle will be beta this angle will also be beta so triangle will be congruent so angle must be an included angle it can't be like this a s s is a wrong s a you can say that a s s is wrong same way s s a is also wrong only should be S A S side angle side. Next is next criteria is A S A angle side angle as the name suggests. Two and corresponding angles are equal and one common side is there. For example, this is four centimeter. This angle is alpha. This angle is beta. I'm making this angle is alpha. This angle is beta. Same way you can say that this is four centimeter this angle is alpha this angle is beta now you can say that triangle this is a b c this is d e f again i can say that triangle a b c is congruent to triangle d e f by a s a angle side angle the side must be included side is included side included means in between two angle in between two angles side must be in between two angles which are corresponding which are equal alpha alpha beta beta are equal one included side is there then you can say that the triangles are congruent automatically or consequently this angle will be theta this will also be theta these two sides this will also be equal this is a s a last property of congruency of triangle is r h s the where r stand for right angle right angle h stand for hypotenuse and s stand for sides if in a right angle triangle the two triangles are congruent first of all there should be a right angle 90 degree angle must be there yes there hypotenuse must be equal this is a b c this is d e f hypotenuse are equal now any of those other side can be equal if you can see that triangle abc is congruent to triangle def it can be done in two way either ab must be equals to de corresponding side or bc could be equals to ef it could be it's a or either one of one must be true one of the side right angle and hypotenuse if one of the if the triangle are right angles it means r is there hypotenuse must be equal and one of the side it could be perpendicular it could be base one of the sides must be equal then you can say that triangles are congruent so these were the four criteria for congruency of triangle rhs means right angle hypotenuse and one of the sides 
corresponding sides must be equal same way asa angle side angle side must be included between the two angles first criteria was sss if the whole sides are corresponding sides are equal you can say that triangles are congruent same way sas that angle must be included between the two sides so that these were the criteria for congruency of triangles let's discuss questions based on congruency first question is that ab is parallel to cd given to you ab is equal to cd try to pause the video try to solve the question yourself then look at the solution now ab is parallel to cd ab is equal to cd now i will extend these two lines as well as these two lines now you can see that ab and cd are parallel lines given to you and this bc is a transversal these two l1 this is l1 this is l2 l1 is parallel to l2 this bc is a transversal bc is a transversal so can i say this angle is alpha so this angle will also be alpha alternate interior angles same way l1 is parallel to l2 ad is a transversal line that cuts the two parallel line if this angle is beta this angle will also be beta alternate interior angle this angle is theta this angle is theta these two angles are vertically opposite angle now you can say that i can easily say that triangle aob is congruent to other triangle now while writing the uh, triangles in congruency you must be careful uh, you have to write in a particular series that would be easy to you to determine the corresponding sides when i write aob when i have written triangle aob you can see that at point a what is the angle this is beta angle at point o what is the angle theta at point b what is the angle alpha so angle series is beta theta and alpha same angle series we have to take for other triangle and this will be congruent to that beta theta and alpha in other triangle where is the beta angle d point where is the theta angle o point where is the alpha angle c point so i can say that triangle aob is congruent to triangle doc by which property asa angle side angle you can see that alpha this 4 this beta angle side angle i'm just making this this alpha angle this four side this beta angle same is here alpha angle four side beta angle two angles are equal and included side is there so two triangles are congruent by asa now when you write in this way uh, angle series is same then you have to just match the letter and letter first two letter ao and sec first two letter of this triangle ao would be equals to do these are the corresponding sides corresponding sides when two triangles are congruent corresponding sides are equal as well as corresponding angles are also equal so ao is equals to do the side corresponding to ao would be do first two letter of this first two letter of this what you have to do only make the angle series same then you can only match the letters ao is equals to do first two letters second and third letter ob and oc ob will be equals to oc corresponding sides and first third letter first third letter ab will be equals to cd this is given to you now ao is equals to do we need to calculate the value of ao do we know that the length do this is 6 cm so ao will also be ao is equals to do this equals 6 cm ob is equals to oc we have determined ob is equals to oc so ob is equals to oc is equals to 5 cm so in this way you can determine the sides so main objective of discussing this question was to how to uh, uh, apply the concept of congruency in questions very important that while making the triangle congruent your angle series must be same in both the triangles question 2 is triangle abc is there ac is equals to bc ab this side is given to you 17 cm 
this is also 17 centimeter this complete bc is 30 centimeter you need to find the length of ad ad is perpendicular to bc this angle is 90 degree now pause the video try to solve yourself now uh, how can we solve this question uh, either one of the ways apply the Pythagoras theorem this is x this is 30 minus x and that will take a lot of time don't apply to have to apply the Pythagoras theorem you must remember the concepts of congruency can I say this triangle 1 this triangle 2 triangle 1 is congruent to triangle 2 these two triangles are congruent by RHS you can see that right angle is there both the small triangles are of right angle 90 degrees there hypotenuse are equal 17 centimeter and 17 centimeter one of the side is equal that is ad side is common to both the small triangle so these two triangles are the congruent when the triangles are congruent corresponding sides are equal now corresponding sides ab and c ac are corresponding side ab is equal to ac ad is equal to ad corresponding side don't say same both are same same way bd will be equal to cd these two will be the congruent sides so same sides so this will equal to 15 centimeter and 15 centimeter because total length is 30 these two lengths will be equal now apply the pythagoras theorem you know the pythagoras triplet if the two sides are 15 and 17 the third side will be 8 centimeter that's how it's very important to remember the pythagoras triplet i told you that triplet is 8k square plus 15k square is equals to 17k square it means that if in a right angle triangle two sides are 15k and 17k third side would be 8k so here k is 1 so 8 15 and 17 pair will be there if two sides are 17 and 15 third side will be 8 centimeter that's how you can solve this kind of question based on congruency of triangles that was all about geometry lesson 3 congruency of triangle thank you